Hi, Dr. David Schiller here. In today's pose, we're going to be talking about dizziness and vertigo and BPPV, or benign positional paroxysmal vertigo, or is it autoimmune? So these are for the people out there that have been struggling with dizziness for years. And we're told, well, they have this positional vertigo because you get the symptoms when you turn your head, you turn over in bed, you look up, you look down. But yet, these procedures like Epley's maneuver um, aren't working or they're giving you exercises to do with head movements or things like that and it's not working. A lot of times though, I've had people come in from their ENTs and, and they've been giving some exercises to do like turning their heads, but they're giving them to both sides. As a result, if it is truly a, a BPPV or a positional vertigo where it's peripheral, it's, it's because of what's happening in the ear canals. There's a, a stone caught in the canal, one of the, the uh, calcium uh, stones falls off and it's now floating around the canal. So every time you move, it's distorting the, the information that that brain is getting and therefore you feel like you're dizzy or, ver or vertiginous or having a vertigo attack. But the idea is, is that many people have been through that and day to day they're given medications like antivert and it's not doing anything to help them. They've been through, even with certain therapies or brain types of therapies where they're being rehabbed, but it's not working. It could be, at that point in time, an autoimmune process. Autoimmune processes causing dizziness and vertigo are, are ultra common and they're not being looked at. So as a result, you need to start looking at, well, what is going on? Why is the body in an autoimmune state? There are no cures for, cures for autoimmune disease, but there are ways to look at what the immune system is doing. Or is your body attacking something? Well, why is the body attacking the things in your head that help you keep oriented in space. So with any autoimmune process, you do have to find out what that mechanism is. Is the body actively going after something? Is it uh, sensitive to a food? Is it sensitive? Is there a toxin or a heavy metal? Is there an old infection, whether it be a, a bacterial infection or H. pylori in the stomach or a, a parasitic infection that is not active? You're not getting fevers and, and having an, what is considered an active infection, but certainly the body's immune system still thinks it's going on. So that's called an active antigen. Or is the body dysregulating? Is the immune system going out of balance because of a blood sugar problem, which by the way is very common? Or is it because of uh, a vitamin deficiency? Or some other type of dysregulation, like an adrenal problem, or other thyroidal or hormonal imbalance, like a thyroid problem? The idea is um, you have to figure out what that immune system is doing. So if you've been struggling with dizziness for a long time and it's not going away and you've, you've tried this and you've tried that, you've tried all sorts of things, you need to consider what is happening in that immune system because it is ultra common. So, you have to find a doctor that will be willing to spend the time to become the detective to figure out what's going on. Do the appropriate tests to look at the immune system, because by the way, it can be looked at. There's a test called a CD4, CD8 count. Has that been done on you? Have you looked at the balance in the Th1, Th2 side of your immune system? That can be looked at. Are you sensitive to certain foods, particularly gluten or dairy? Now the thing is, with mainstream tests for those things, they're very inaccurate only because they don't do enough of the test. They limit it to only a few markers. They're not looking at the whole picture. So for instance, gluten has 24 markers that can be looked at, but in a typical standard old lab, they're looking at two or three things. So don't go by, the, or don't come to the conclusion that everything's been done and you're just going to have to live with it because that's what you're told to do. Once they can't figure you out, you're sent home and told, well, you got to live with this. You know, there's nothing else we can do for you, but you're not investigating. There are things that can be done. Find a doctor who understands these things and find a doctor who can become the detective, figure it out, set a plan, and one by one pick away the pieces of the puzzle so that you can put this, an answer together for you so you can figure out the problem for your dizziness and vertigo. Because it can be hell. I understand. I have patients that come in every day that have this and it can be helped. So keep that in mind. I hope that you found this helpful and make it a great day.